think CD Count Five is one of the best examples around of family organizations that are really driving the direction that the field is going. So the Alliance is about bringing the community together and it's about linking with pharmaceutical companies, it's about linking with researchers and it's about bringing us all together so that we're all working on the common goal which is treatments for our children and possible cures. You have UK groups, you have Spain groups, France, Italy, Australia, Russia, and they've all come together to now have the CDKL5 Alliance. And that's really, it shouldn't be taken lightly. That's a remarkable thing to be able to organize on that level, to have families feel connected to people that they don't even speak the same language with and say, we need to support them. We need to work together to make all of our lives better because we really have this thing that despite all the differences between us connects us. Marinus is committed to identifying new treatment options for children with rare genetic epilepsies like CDKL5. Through our efforts with the patient advocacy groups, we, we do support um, their mission to find new treatments through clinical research. We're happy to be one of the companies that has a clinical trial available for these children. The challenge in any rare disease community is, is the fact that we are relatively small in numbers. It's very critical for us to remain unified as a group, working very closely with the patient advocacy groups, as well as working with uh, industry representatives, as well as regulators. All together have to be able to have a seat at the table and to feel that we're working together in order to advance our common goal, which is really the development of effective therapeutics to help treat this disorder. We enjoy working with the patient advocacy groups to hear about what their child is going through, what they're looking for in treatment options, and incorporating that information into the design of our clinical trials so that we can ultimately develop a drug that will provide benefit to them to improve the quality of life for their child. It's important for the parents to know uh, what's happening in the research. It's crucial. In daily life, uh, uh, you feel uh, tremendously alone. And it's not true because, uh, uh, I mean, research is going very, very fast. And it's astonishingly, uh, I think it's due um, to um, special people who push it and put together the right people in the right place. And this is of a paramount importance uh, if you consider that we are a very uh, small community. The CDKL5 community is growing and is very strong. And a lot of it, I believe, has to do with their strong commitment and the efforts that they're putting forth to create awareness so that families recognize that they are not alone. All of this patient involvement is mainly driven by patients. So by families and patients and relatives and caregivers um, because they really want to make a difference. They really want to be heard. And that's the major reason why I'm doing what I do because I'm a father of a child because I know what I'm talking about as an effective person in daily life because I have to change diapers every day, every night with, a, with an 18 year old daughter because we have a wheelchair to manage and all of that, I know this. And that makes me very passionate about this. So um, I'm very confident that this is, this is uh, going to be a success for patients and for society overall.